it was a, a whirlwind year. It was a, it was a trying year. I would give anything to be back in that room making music with those people. So when I heard everything was going to be virtual, I, um, I tend to process things kind of on a like survivor level. And uh, I, as a grad student at FSU, that's a big change, hearing that an ensemble that you're going to be in is virtual. Uh, we've just got two more pieces left uh, on our little uh, informants here that we're giving um, on Zoom this evening. Uh, the next piece is uh, Raymond Wise's Shine the Light. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and take that out. And by take that out, I mean I'll put it up on my screen here as soon as I remember how to share it. <laughs> so just give me one second here. It was challenging to wrap your head around that. We didn't know exactly what it was going to be. Um, we didn't know what form this course would take. Uh, fortunately, uh, we were able to still meet virtually every week on Zoom. And of course, there are limitations to rehearsing on Zoom. Let me go ahead and pull up some things. I know that McLean sent out an email earlier today uh, that included a PDF, which has all of the information you could ever need on it. Okay, uh, can we- uh, My links didn't work. You can't hear anyone when you go virtual. So we had no idea what our singers were doing on the other side of the screen. Uh, it was a challenge to think of creative ways to keep them engaged. We have singers that can't read music. Then we have singers that have been singing their whole lives and are actual music educators. So we had to find a way to virtually, without hearing anyone, create an environment that everyone felt like they could sing. People were so hungry for, for something um, that had been taken away from them for for, for an entire year. Walking in the first day and seeing familiar faces and um, singing and having familiar voices next to me on either side who I'd sung with for years and hearing them the first time we were supposed to make sound um, was really really cool but also you know recognizing that it was different it was way different from this year and uh, it made me a lot more grateful for the things I was missing that's for sure I'm very excited about our first in-person performance, yay, since the pandemic. Um, I think it's really important for us to show the community that we're back. They've missed our performances as much as we have missed performing. So the piece that we're performing this fall is uh, The Creation by Josef Haydn, a, an oratorio uh, which features orchestra, of course our large chorus, soloists, um, that tell the story of the creation um, account in Genesis from the Bible. And uh, one of the lines of text of this oratorio really stood out to me as I was thinking of what repertoire to do for the year. The, line of um, a new created world springs forth at God's command. And this idea of a new created world, this idea of us coming out of COVID, um, and even if we're not done with COVID, at least possibly being able to see a new stage of the pandemic, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, certainly this is a new created world for all of us who are able to sing in person together again. And so that is incredibly meaningful. And I, hope that could be a way that we could celebrate our return to in-person music um, as a choir. So before performances, this is our chance 
to just come together as a choir. And we warm up together, the TAs get a chance to warm up the ensemble, and Dr. Hannawalt will take over and conduct a few moments that we are just big moments that bring us all together. And then we sit and we wait and we watch the audience come in and it's our chance to just get our own energy up and get excited for what's about to come. Those of you who carried us through the pandemic so that we could be here today, you deserve a very special thanks. So thank you all so very much and enjoy the concert. As an audience member, you go see a performance and, and that is your experience with that piece. But for the people on stage, their experience with that piece has been an entire semester's worth of Monday night rehearsals. All of those hours and hours and hours of, of working and refining and, and trying to make this as, as, as wonderful and meaningful a performance as it can be. Oh. 